Hi guys, welcome to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen Mod Jam. Let's see, we're on part two here. We're still at the beginning. Down that path. 
Well, right. the delay is not going to matter when it comes to control of the sound. So, man, this, this one's just for bragging. Yeah. Professor, great to catch up with you. Thanks so much for joining us this Monday afternoon. Thank you, John. Jack, a pleasure. Where's the climber? We got to look in. We will speak to a rancher in Texas who is experiencing the migrant influx firsthand. Why she says she is nervous about having to wait until January to try to take off. That comes in next. Every day my patients do tell me how much they want to take care of their children. They want that they get more benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and rides to appointments. They tell me they pay less out of pocket for everyday expenses like their prescriptions, over the power medication, doctor's visits, with Medicare Advantage. They get more for less. And I found it's made a really big impact. His injury is a lifelong it's hard here today, but he has never given up. How proud are you to serve? When a national plays, this guy is the first to stand. It might take two of us to have him stand, but he's the one standing. I thank God every day for those that have donated and continue to donate to the Missouri Project. September 11th continue to leave their mark on our nation. Many wounded veterans urgently need your help. Join Wounded Warrior Project with a gift of just $19 a month. You can provide free programs and services that can change a person's life 
forever. Yeah. I left for the flight and I was skateboarding with my kid. And I came back and I came across the room and I came. I was struggling just to do everyday life. I only wear part of the clothes. Someone told me in life that I get any ground and helping me survive. There were so many veterans out there that need to help. Call us online with your gift of $19 a month, and we will send you this one warrior project blanket. Five days, I might have enough. Infiltration is four days and something. Are on the same page when it comes to 
our chief foreign affairs correspondent, Trey Higgs, is live in Tel Aviv, Israel, with that. Trey? John, good afternoon. More than 400 days into the war in the Middle East, fighting continues on multiple fronts. Today, Hezbollah rockets rain down on northern Israel, injuring at least three people. The attacks come as Israel's new defense minister, Israel Katz, claims the Iran backed group is defeated. The Israeli Air Force launched fresh airstrikes against Hezbollah over the weekend, targeting positions across Lebanon. According to the local health ministry, 23 people were killed in a single Israeli strike north of Beirut on Sunday. While diplomatic efforts are ongoing to end the war, Hezbollah's top spokesman says the group has not received any official information about a ceasefire, adding that Hezbollah is prepared for a long war. Could our stockpiles have decreased while we are firing more missiles, more quantitatively and qualitatively, to the heart of Israel? Day after day, I reiterate that our forces are the front lines and our fighters have enough weapons, equipment, and supplies for a long war, for which we are prepared for on all fronts. With the northern front active, Israeli forces remain inside Gaza. Israel is also striking Gaza from the air, killing dozens of Palestinians over the weekend. Both the Israelis and the Hamas run Palestinian health ministry are not providing detailed information on those killed, but reports indicate it's a mix of civilians and militants. Now, with no diplomatic solution on the horizon, there are hopes with a new American administration. There could be a broader ceasefire across the Middle East. As you noted, at the top, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President-elect Trump have spoken a few times over the past week. John? I have a few mentions of a lot of Trump workers who are going to be the last time and see what happens. We'll see you in the days of the AP rounds are good. It doesn't appear to have happened yet. We're thrilled to death that Tom Holman is going to be our new board member. You've seen um, caravans come through your property, though, in the past, and they've been on this program and others. Uh, you invited President Biden at one point to come down and witness it firsthand. Uh, is your understanding, or is your concern, rather, that sort of the local spread within the community is that? Uh, you know, time's up. You want to try to get in, you better do it now before Trump comes in and cracks down. Absolutely. But I think that President Trump has been so strong about deportations and about the border crisis. And I think that it might possibly help. Um, you know, we're really seeing a strong presence of people, uh, you know, anticipating anything that might come. Um, there have been increased numbers somewhat to the south of us in the last couple of months. But so far, as of yet, we haven't seen that huge increase. Now, Texas um, went for Trump by a much bigger margin than in 2020. Uh, in 2020, it was by 5.6 points. Uh, in 2024, Trump won by almost 14 points. Uh, really, people crying out in your state for a crackdown on the border crisis. Here's what Tom Bowman said his priorities would be uh, across the crisis points. Public safety threats and national security threats will be the priority to the head of the world's most dangerous country. So we don't prioritize those groups to make a problem. This administration wants to make 300,000 children. They have been there strong with two folks to make time so they can't find it. That's another priority. We need to save these children. Seen them, we've seen the number of people that have crossed. But here in Texas, as you said, you know, the, the numbers that came out, but it was 
Let's save this before I fuck something up. Good, and we'll do this next time, all right, guys? Peace.